Alright guys, welcome back to the, I'm assuming the last episode of Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Pretty much going to be finding the piece of Eden and taking on Steric. Dress to impress, what's this? This might not be the last mission, I'm not sure. Or last episode. Oh, uh, Freddy. Scrubbing away as usual. Carriage you got there. Where did you buy it? If if you don't mind me asking. Ask all you want, Freddy. You'll never get an answer. Damn it all. Was it my eyebrows? Yes. And your face, voice, and body. Look, I've got an invitation to the Queen's ball tonight. How did you come by that, Freddy? There's to be an attack on the ball. I need to smuggle some weapons inside to prevent it. Supposing I believe you. Only the Royal Guard carries weapons. So? Too easy. For God's sake, Freddy. Fine. I require a guard's uniform. Done. I knew you'd come through. Just promise me, Jacob, that you will return Mr. Gladstone's coach. Of course. Of course. All right. Just got to go get this. Steady on. Don't even have to go anywhere. Reach St. Martin's Church. We're already here. Just gotta go up top. Oh, we gotta go up, up. The very tip top. Tippy top. Can we? Ooh. Yeah, let's just climb up the rest. Search. Oh, I thought it said sink. What are we looking for? Uniforms? This shouldn't be too hard. They're all over the place. We just need one. Oh, there's cops around. Gotta remember that. Try to get the closest one to us. Come on. Take out as many as we can. Just makes it easier for us. Take him out. I'm not wasting time on this mission. If I don't have to, there's no need to take two out right here. Boom, now we got our way out. Now we got our way out. Just gotta, just gotta come over here. I don't, oh, I'm, I'm gonna just use my distance weapons and stuff too. Way, coming here. Boom, you're dead. Who's next? You're dead. Take you out. Move. Take him out. There's more. Well, let's start with that. He should be coming back at some point. Yeah, I'm gonna wait. Just the second he comes back, gonna uh, kidnap him, I'm assuming. Knockout. 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 Carry. Oh, I gotta put him down and take it. I'll loot him now. There, got it all. Charming. Now to hide the body. Gotta hide it too. Alright, well, I just need. There should be something around. 
Oh, there's... Is that it? Yeah, I see it. Oh, no. No, no, no. Please Freddy? do not. Here I come. Damn. There we go. And now we have exit too. Since we took these out, these guys out earlier. Made it. This should give us entry right into the palace with no problems. One uniform, One uniform as requested. As requested. It's still warm. It's still warm. My gift to you. My gift to you. I will meet you on the roof of Buckingham Palace. You're such a romantic. All right. Well, Master Assassin Belt. Let's go. All right. I'm not sure which mission this is. I don't know if this is it. Delighted to see Delighted you again, Miss Fry. Again, Miss Fry. Your, Highness, Your Highness, the plans detailing the renovations, detail the renovations to Buckingham to Palace have gone astray. Have gone astray. I suppose you will have to make do with the copies. There are copies? Where? Uh, not so fast. Not so fast. First, I First, I have a matter of some urgency. some urgency. Carrying out my plan would require plan stealth would require and speed, qualities, and speed. I, know qualities you I know you possess. Time is of the essence, Your Highness. Then make this quick, my dear. The most influential men in Parliament remain beyond my reach. But these very men have sent for carriages to prepare for the ball tonight. Acquire an official carriage, and we shall drive the politicians to their destinations. Along the way, I will meet with them. And afterward, I shall tell you where to find the plans. You're a shrewd negotiator. One must be when one is so often underestimated. He's also pretty smart. Getting the job done like that. Right, move. Don't allow personal feelings to compromise the mission. Jeez, two of them going off. Come on! Slowly now. Can't just go in there. All willy nilly. Gotta be smart about this. Down. Where's my target? My carriages. It's a carriage right there. Who? There. Down. Down. I need more of these. gonna take this first I gotta get my chest always gotta get the chest all right now we take this whoa here now watch this we just spam spam out spam out of here boom We're gone. We run. We can't see this. Nope. Easy. Easy. Slow down. We messed up this world carriage a bit, but that's all good. Oh. Climb up, Your Highness. Up, Where, are Where are we headed? Belgrade Square. Bruh. Oh, I thought he glitched out completely. I was gonna be like, no. I hate it when that stuff happens. My 
Welcome, sir. Your Highness, what a surprise. <laughs> Is life not about embracing the unexpected? I shall take but a few moments of your time. A matter of utmost importance must be discussed. When the Commonwealth seized the Punjab from my people, it was not a seizure, but a rightful transaction. Britain promised to protect me. By robbing me of my kingdom, Parliament acted in violation of the treaty signed with my family. Here, read it. I... I was not aware. Read. That is all I ask. You are one of the few in... I trust you and your son will enjoy the ball this evening. He is newly returned from Delhi. I will share what we have discussed. It is most disconcerting. It is disconcerting. All right, what's where to next? That proved quite valuable. Where to now? St. James's Park. I noticed Mr. Green did not accompany you. He has other things to attend to. Ah, a pity. You two seem to get along nicely. Well, that was a problem, you see. One must not allow personal feelings to compromise one's mission. That sounds like a quotation. It is. It is. From my father. Ethan Fry. You knew him? No, unfortunately. But Mr. Green spoke of him. He sounded like an extraordinary man. He was, Your Highness. And your mother as well, Cecily Fry. She and your father were partners, inseparable. The only duo that came close to challenging Mr. Scarry. And very much in love, at least from the small amount I have been told. Cecily. I wish I could have met her. From what Mr. Green gathered, you share much in common. Your intelligence, for one. Father never spoke of me. What would Mr. Green do? He was only a boy when he was with my father. Children can be quite perceptual. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, hurry up, get in. Carriage looks bad, but at least the bar says it's Good healthy. Good day, sir. Why, what are you doing here? I know how busy your days have been of late. A few moments of your time is all I require. This is all rather unorthodox, but continue. Britain was to protect me according to the treaty my family signed. Instead, she took my land. And now I hear Britain intends to strengthen her ties to India. Perhaps it is time to return the Punjab to her people. What is going on here? Supplied you with an annual income for God knows how long, and now you bite the hand that feeds you? It is not a matter of money. Good day, sir. May God bless you. All right, next one. Well, then. Only one more remains. To the Gladstone residence. Do you miss Gladstone. India? I remember that my mother smelled of cinnamon. And when she cradled me in her arms in the summer heat, I would hold so still that she fell asleep. When I lost my kingdom, it hurt. For truly. Oh, this is gonna be good. He doesn't have his ticket. Good day, Mr. Gladstone. Mr. Singh! You are a hard man to pin down. I know what this is about. Your politics have worn off. Majesty was tired of you. So now you come begging for scraps. You wound me deeply, sir. My people deserve freedom. I am here to fight for them. Why did you lose the Punjab? I shall tell you, Your Highness. You were outgunned, outmaneuvered, and simply outclassed. Yes, the Sikhs deserve freedom. I hope with British help and progress, they shall achieve it. Then why oh, this guy's a prick. Britain has a duty to bring about peace. It is an enormous responsibility. And I thank much luck, Your Highness, with your lobbying. I hope my advice has done Great. some good. Who's next? Far more than your policies thus far. But I hold out hope that you will make progress. My people are counting on it. All right. This is going to be fun when Gladson doesn't get his ticket. Or doesn't have it. <laughs> 
Thank you, Miss Fryer, Thank you, Ms. for forwarding my cause. Oh, you are welcome. I hope some good comes of it, despite Mr. Gladstone's vitriol. Those of us with the largest hearts protect them the most. Your father, for instance. From what I understand, he was extraordinarily sad, broken even, after your mother's passing. That kind of pain can blind us, cause us to say outlandish things to protect the ones we love. It's time you returned this carriage and recovered those plans. They are located in Buckingham Palace. The Queen keeps them among her personal papers in the white drawing room. I wish you a good evening, Miss Evie Fry. And to you, Your Highness. All right. I go return this shit box. They're going to be so pissed. <laughs> Just a couple scratches. Right. Oh, drop below 50% of that season. Where's the entrance? There we are. Oh, there was a back entrance? Never even knew. Turn the carriage, I thought it did. Oh, I gotta become anonymous now. She's gone. Might have to just take him out. Someone smashing in there? Alright. Well, it's a good thing that guy's facing away. I can go get my chest. Boom, escape there. Y'all do that in just a sec. Uh, there we go. I can also get one more over here. And I love chests. Is that a bunch of weapons? Nice. Gotta stay strapped. Gotta protect the, what's it called? Coconut Palace. I'm already gone, bro. I'm gone. You ain't even gone. Yeah, there. Damn, that was a drift. Let's go. Look a victory. 